And one thing that I like about it the most is just how much it cleans up this area. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, today we'll be working on the 400EX. And what we're going to be doing is that since we no longer have a rear parking brake, uh, we have a, looks like a cheap Amazon caliper with parking brake delete. The factory clutch and parking brake assembly is just ugly and is fairly loose and I just don't like how clunky it looks. Picked up a tux, a tusk clutch lever X00395FRI9. It was like 30, 35 bucks when I ordered it. It comes in red, I think in silver. Might be the only two colors that come in. So yeah, let's get this swapped out. Um, to get off the factory uh, clutch lever, it is a eight millimeter. So let's get this off. Let's get the cable out. And this should be a fairly quick and painless job to get the cable out. You're gonna line all that up, give that cable a pull, and then the cable will come out of there. I didn't feel like fighting today. So I took the two bolts loose right here on the transmission side of the motor by the exhaust pipe. Make sure if you do this that the pipe is not hot. Took these bolt out. I took the clutch adjustment, moved it about the way. That is going to create a lot of slack. Like I said, you line those up, it comes right out. And then this should come out the bottom. Hold on. Just like that, that will come out of the bottom and then you are good to replace it. If you still have your clutch bypass hooked up, you wanna make sure you unhook your clutch bypass. Uh, this tusk is not compatible with, with the uh, clutch switch on these. So basically to bypass it, you take those two wires, you connect them together, and that will bypass the clutch being used. But you want to be careful because that then means that your bike can start in gear. So we are back. As you can see, the uh, perch has changed colors to purple. You also notice the seat covers changed colors to purple. And if you notice the handlebars have changed color to teal. So going with a little bit different color thing, but that is for another video. So but what you want to do is that you want to take the dirt and mud guard off, which is just two filler hub screws, top and bottom. And you also want to take uh, this rubber grommet off as well. You want to take this rubber grommet, you want to slip it over this with the small end first. And then you want to take the cable. You want to line up the adjuster to where it goes straight through because the cable is going to go straight through. And then it's going to go right in that notch right there. Once that is installed, you just want to take the bolts out. So this is a plastic grommet. Spread it apart like so, but don't stretch it too much because it feels like it's right on the brink of breaking. Alright, so the plastic spacer is on. We're going to take your bracket, throw it under the bottom. The lever is on, and the last thing we're going to do is put the dirt shield on. And here we have it all installed. And when I installed mine, I have my adjuster clicked all the way in. That way it gives for max adjustability. So I'm going to get this reinstalled and we're going to see how this clutch feels. Everything is connected. Uh, the first thing I noticed is that I have a bunch of free play and I don't like a bunch of free play because it just makes the clutch, it makes the engagement just feel sloppy and I really don't care for that. 
So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to actually adjust this until all of that free play is gone. So that way when I grab the clutch, it's all clutch. All right, so that feels about where I want it. And then I believe that once you get your adjustment that you can take this Allen head here, you can tighten it down and then that will keep it from rotating. But that is all that she wrote for this install. Uh, and one thing that I like about it the most is just how much it cleans up this area. You no longer have that clunky uh, parking brake set up and you don't have stuff you don't need it just it cleans it up really really nice i believe they only make these in silver and red but of course if you need a color they don't make you can always take it apart and paint it yourself like i did like i said it's not perfect but you know from three four feet is good enough so i can't wait to go riding this feels excellent and it looks as good is what it feels like i said i'm going to tighten this up uh, or oh, I may just leave it loose. I don't see it doing any adjusting by itself. But yes, I like this a lot. And I think my color combination is coming out well as well. So I will have a Amazon and a eBay link in the description if I remember. And you know, if you want to see what's going on with uh, my color combinations with my teal and purple um, look into my videos subscribe and you will see once it is all done but I do have a fully custom uh, decal set going on I, I've seen them sell them for dirt bikes I've seen it on a couple of cars and I've seen it on a golf cart but I've never seen it on an ATV never less a 400 EX so if you are 90s kids or you love the 90s, you may already know where this is going. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you can see what this looks like once it's all put together. So think, build, enjoy, peace.